All right, we're recording now. Good evening once again. Let me do that again. I'm Professor Barry. I'm excited to be with you again. And we are here for an introduction to religious studies for our fall semester. Now, we only have eight weeks, and we are going to dive through a whole lot in eight weeks. Tonight's session is to do an introduction to get to know you all. I'm going to talk about the syllabus uh, to calm anybody's nerves. <laughs> Remember, this is an online course and we don't meet in person. So I do the evening, Thursday evenings at seven. I do Thursday evenings at seven because I do work during the day, but I do Thursday evenings at seven so that we can come together. We can talk about what we've read. Thursday evening meetings are not required. So if you have, because it's an online class, okay? So if you have work or you have children got to take care of and things like that, you're not going to get dinged for not coming to the virtual session. I record the virtual sessions so that you can watch them later, okay? So um, you can join our virtual sessions on Thurs Thursdays at 7, or you can watch them. And then you know how sometimes Thursdays are, you may be able to jump in some Thursdays and some Thursdays not, but you're always going to make sure you Make sure you tie into that uh, recording and in your announcement section of your class, I will post the recording and they'll be posted on YouTube after every session. OK, all right, everybody, um, let me do this. I'm going to share. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. OK, wait a minute. I can't share my screen. Let me see if I can. Okay, let me try now. I'm going to share our screen and we're going to go to your D2L page. Um, Wiley or Marilyn, give me a thumbs up if you can see our D2, D2L page. All right, thank you. All right, so tonight's session is to walk through a few things here. Let me actually pull out. I'm going to pull out my um, syllabus and we're going to look at it on the screen too. We're going to talk about the syllabus tonight. We'll talk about your um, uh, course. We'll talk about the textbook and all that good stuff. And then tonight, if we get some time, which I think we should, we'll just do a brief introduction about what is religious studies. Okay. So if you pay attention to your course when you come in, um, you know, you'll see the banner and all that good stuff on the left hand side. Always, always, everybody make sure you look at your calendar because your calendar will tell you what you need to pay attention to what's due. So for this week, today's the 17th. It told you that we had a class meeting. You know, you could come if you could come. And if not, I will post the class meeting link over here on the right where you see announcements. In the middle of the page are going to be your modules. So in the first module, you're going to see syllabus and resources, and we're going to click on that. I'm going to open this up in just a second, but you're going to see your syllabus is at the top. I have the AMSC <laughs> fall calendar. Somebody make sure you go on mute, okay? Um, I have some additional readings for you um, right here. I also want you to make sure that you go and just click on everything, really. There's a world religions chart that you can click on, and everything in here is yours. You can save it to your computer. Also, my book is on my bookshelf, but I know some people do not have the book just yet. I am not good with scanning, but I tried. So I scanned some pages of chapter one, What is Religion? OK, so once again, everybody, chapter one, what is religion? I scanned some pages for you right there. OK. Once again, chapter one, I want you to look in syllabus and resources so that you can read and um, be prepared. All right. Once again, we are in week one, the week of the 14th. Well, we just got started. 
But this is so important, and I know it may sound silly. Everybody has to check in at the introductory form. Why? AMSC is getting in big trouble, you know, for folks who say that they're in a class, right? They might sign up for a class and then they don't show up. So we have to make sure that our attendance is right down to the T. So you have to say, hey, I'm in the class and, and show some type of digital footprint that you're here and that you typed out something in this form. So do the introductory form tonight. Uh, we need to turn in records to say that you are active in the course. If you do not do that by the 21st of August, you will be dropped. OK, so you got to show that you're active in the course every week. But this week is very important so you can stay. I want everybody to stay in this course. All right, we'll get to this a little bit later. Um, this is oh, excuse me, but this is chapter one. I got I just duplicated again. These are the pages that you can read and your chapter one PowerPoint and lesson. It's an actual video of me that I did some years ago, but um. You can watch me again. And it's right there, chapter one, PowerPoint and lesson. So everybody, please make sure that you're checking out week by week. All right, week two, uh, I'm not gonna go through everything, but in week two, which is next week, y'all, you wanna make sure that you are staying ahead on your work. We start our weeks on Mondays and we end on Sunday nights. Okay, so let me say that again. We start our weeks on Mondays and we end on Sunday night. That helps me and it helps you to know when is stuff due. So if you have a paper, like next week, you're going to have a religion versus spirituality paper. You're going to have a discussion board. Those are going to be due on Sundays, Sunday night. And next, not this, I don't know what day it is. Not this Sunday, not this Sunday, the 20th. August is almost gone. Uh, week two stuff is going to be due on Sunday the 27th, okay? Okay. So um, actually, let me just stay right here real quick for the people that may be watching this video. Each week, you're going to see a discussion board. So for this week, your discussion board was just an introduction. And so next week, you're going to have a discussion board, okay? Um, the discussion board for next week is, is the study of religion ever considered dangerous? Is the practice of religion ever considered dangerous? And then you're going to explain, okay? And then you have a paper that's, uh oh, and then you have a paper that's due next week. Let me go back. Sorry, y'all. A paper that's due next week and What's the topic of that paper? This is called an introduction paper where you give your opinion. There are no right or wrong answers. I don't necessarily want you to go to the dictionary and get all these sources. I want to know what you know. Share your reflection. And you're going to answer the question, the simple question. What is the difference between religion and spirituality? Religion and spirituality. This should only be one page, one full page, double space, of course, one full page. Read over it for errors. Once again, there are no right or wrong answers. I'm not looking for this scholarly paper or anything like that. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for your opinion. Everybody's going to get a great good job on this, right? Because you, um, you want to make sure, you know, you, you typing everything up, don't have misspelled words. But I am looking for your personal reflection, not necessarily what the computer said or your textbook said. OK. All right. Let me stop right there. I'm going to pull up your syllabus. Uh, let me stop share. Any questions so far? Good evening, Sade. Any questions so far? I'm going to pull up your syllabus. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Y'all stay right there. I thought I had it up here. Y'all good? Oh, hold on, ladies. Don't like me. Okay, I think I got it. No, I don't.
All right, let me know when you can see the syllabus on the screen. And it should, you should see the first page, it just says AMSC and all that course syllabus. You, you can see it? Yes, I can see it. All right, wonderful, thank you. <laughs> I hear somebody singing in the background. All right, y'all. So I, ha I have your syllabus posted in syllabus and resources. Please make sure that you go and download it to your computer or you can print it out. Now, while we're here tonight, we're going to go through some things, but I am not going to read this whole thing to you. I just want to make sure that you have a couple things down. Y'all can read it to yourself a little bit later. Um, key thing that I want you to understand, I'm not full-time at AMSC, so I do apologize. I work for the city of Atlanta during the daytime, so my, my time during the day might be a little sketchy. So that's the reason why sometimes I, I'm more active in the evening. And I don't have an office on campus or anything, um, and I don't have a campus phone. So you can contact me. Please contact me on, on my cell phone. And it's 770-241-9508. Um, most of the time, I'll probably like you, if I don't know who it is, I probably don't answer. So, <laughs> so text me first and say, hey, it, it's um, so-and-so from your class. And I'll be like, oh, okay, now it's safe to answer. <laughs> I get so much crazy, these crazy numbers calling. Make sure that you have my email, kberry at atlm.edu. If for any reason you need to chat or, um, you know, it doesn't have to be Thursdays, you want to talk about something, you don't, you, you don't know what the answer is, uh, send me a, a email or you can send me a text or something and say, hey, can we chat tonight? What days do you have free? That is totally fine, okay? All right, everybody. Um, this is real tiny. If I can make this bigger. Of course, we have already started. This is an eight-week course and y'all is going to run real fast and we will finish on September the 29th. Um, your textbook is called Introduction to Religious Studies. This is an old book and it's on my it's on my bookshelf. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, that's what I get. It's on my bookshelf and I'm going to I'm going to pull it in just a second, but I sent you a picture of it, Introduction to Religious Studies. That's ha that's what happens when you got too many books on your bookshelf. Um, and I want you to pick that up as soon as you can, or it's on Amazon. Okay, and we will use the book. A uh, couple of things I just want to highlight, and then I'm going to be quiet. For this particular course, uh, remember, we're studying religion. So everybody comes from different backgrounds. Uh, we're not bashing anybody for what they believe in or what their faith is. I always say this up front when we share in our discussions, we are scholars. So we are, we're basically, we're sharing what we learn and we're coming with it with an objective um view so we're not we're not bashing people because oh they don't do that the way i do it you know we're learning okay um the key things that we'll talk about in this course is how religion affects people how it affects humans how it affects culture how we understand society and in some of well really in a lot of the chapters We'll study different religions and um, you'll see a lot of different similarities. Uh, religions also help people solve problems. OK, and so we'll we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, we live in a diverse look at Atlanta. We live in a very diverse town or city, should I say, where we have different people of different walks of life. So I just want everybody to remember that. The, the course is religious studies. We are studying 
different religions, okay? So this is not a Bible study, but we are studying what it is and we're, we're sharing our knowledge and we are increasing our knowledge about other walks of faith, okay? So we, we definitely want to keep our minds open. Don't, don't close your minds, but we want to embrace everyone and we're not shunning individuals because something's different from us. All right, so holidays for this semester, we only have Labor Day. Everybody's going to make sure that they do that introduction by August the 22nd. Our midterm is kind of scheduled around September the 5th through the 7th kind of area. Excuse me. And our last day of class, it'll roll real fast, y'all. Uh, September the 26th. All right, I do want to talk about a couple of things. Let's talk about your grading. And then we're going to talk about, uh, let's talk about our online discussion. And then we'll talk about grading. Then I'm going to be quiet. Okay, and I'm going to answer any questions that you may have. All right, so for next week and beyond. So for this week, you just have an introductory form. You don't have to do no research for that. Nothing like that. You're not reading anything. But so for next week and beyond, have a question or something that you need to answer that's based on the reading. So the purpose of the discussion form is for you to be um, interactive with your classmates because we don't see each other in a classroom. So I want you to be constructive, be positive. When you answer your post, your discussion post, they should be at least 200 words. Uh, always make sure that you reply to at least two classmates, okay? And when you reply to them, it doesn't have to be 200 words. Try to reply to them in at least 100 words. Watch your grammar and spelling. If you're citing material from your book or any other site, it needs to be cited, okay? You can use MLA, but don't quote someone and you didn't give them the proper credit. Okay, we're not going to have any plagiarism. Everything, uh, quizzes or any type of paper, discussions are going to be due Sunday nights at 11.59. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, y'all. So we don't have to talk about academic honesty and all that good stuff. We know that you are going to do your best work. I did. I messed up something. I forgot to put in our schedule. Okay. All right, everybody. I, I need to update our syllabus. All right. So our discussion forms are going to be 20%. I'm going to talk about grading, then I'm going to get your schedule up in just one second. Your discussion forms are going to be 20%. You'll have an assignment about video, your video summary reflection. Okay. That's going to be 10%. Your introductory paper is going to be 10%. Then towards the end of the semester, you're going to have a um, research paper that's going to be 20% of your grade. Um, you'll have another PowerPoint activity where you research a religion, and that's going to be 10%. I'm scheduled, uh, I think we're, we're going to be able to do this, a uh, class visit. Uh, we may have a guest to come, uh, and that is going to be 10%. And uh, you'll have an, you know what, uh, I see some mistakes, y'all. Okay, and I have an interview assignment for you, and then you have a comparison activity. I see what I did. I got something that got cut and paste twice, okay? I'll fix that for you tonight. All right, so if you all would just hang with me real quick. I'm going to stop share and I need to pull up my revised syllabus. I think what I did is I uploaded the wrong one. Any questions while I'm doing this? Um, I did have a question about the, what I know is not set in stone, but you said we may be able to come up to the classroom to hear a guest speaker. Um, oh, no. No, I won't. We won't be meeting in person for anything. And, and oh. when I said that, I should have said virtual. I do apologize. Okay, I should have okay, said virtual. Fine. Okay, thanks. <laughs> that solved it, right? So I'm sorry. Oh, no, yes. that's cool. I just wanted to understand. 
Exactly, exactly. So what is she doing now? What is she doing? She got us all mixed up. This is what happens when you have too many. I worked on this syllabus and when you do a lot of cutting and pasting, and I uploaded it, and it looks like I uploaded the wrong one. That's all right. I'll stay right there. Stay right there. Thank you for your patience. Okay. All right, ladies, I have, I'm going to pull up our schedule. If you stay right there, it's going to come up on the screen. And I'm going to update this. Something is happening with my word. It looks like my words are falling off, so I'm going to figure out what I did wrong. I've had an evening and a half. My son's uh, bus was late. <laughs> he was over an hour late getting home. All right, but I will have this class schedule posted for you. You're going to see a new revise to your syllabus probably within the next 10 minutes after we get off tonight, okay? But we are, if you see on the screen, we're in week one, week of 814. So week two is going to be week of 821. We're going to finish up Chapter one, what is religion? Uh, next week's discussion form, we already talked about that. And then next week you're going to have a, um, next week you're going to have, oh, I know what I did wrong. It looks like my margins got messed up, let's see. Uh, next week, remember you're going to have, yay, I think that's working. Next week you're going to have a paper due. I think that worked a little bit better, but I'm going to fix it. Uh, next week, you're going to have a paper due, and that paper is, remember, what's the difference between religion and spirituality. All right. The week after that, week, th week three, we're going to be in chapter two. That's when you're going to have that PowerPoint assignment. Week four, you'll have another discussion forum that's based on a video. Uh, the assignment for week four will be a video summary. Week five is the week of 9-11. We're going to be in chapter five on sacred words. And sometimes you'll see I have some um, supplemental things for you to watch that are just for fun. I'm not assigning you anything. We're going to talk about Hindu texts in week five. And your assignment for week five is an interview assignment. And when we go through these week by week, you're going to see all of your directions. I'm just not going through every single thing tonight. Week six is the week of uh, September the 18th. We're going to be in chapter seven where we talk about ethics. That's where we're going to have a tentative online guest that's going to talk about uh, traditional African religions. Week seven is the week of the uh, September 25th. And this is when we're going to talk about chapter eight and chapter nine, violence and religion. And then we're going to talk about social activism. Okay. All right. Let me just pause any questions, comments. So far, I know I've been talking a lot. Okay. Oh, um, I do have a question. I'm on the um the site the um where where are you looking at everything and we are we going to have class meetings weekly? That's what it looks like. Yes, we'll meet weekly. Remember, it, it, they're not required. Okay, so I'm going to record them, but we're going to meet Thursdays. At seven. Okay. Vir virtually, y'all. Virtually. No in person. It's online. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. And remember, this is this is an online course, so you're not required to 
you know, like some students get scared, like, oh my goodness, I got to work at seven. It's okay. You go to work, but I'll record these sessions and I post them to YouTube and you can watch them every week in case you can't make it. Okay. Okay. All right. Good question. Any other questions you have while I transition a little bit? All right. All right. And everybody, I owe you an updated syllabus. So I'm going to update that syllabus. I should have looked at that and saw that that syllabus wasn't right. All right. Now I want to, everybody stay right there. Ladies, if you stay right with me, we're going to talk about chapter one. We're going to start talking about chapter one, okay? And I may not get into everything. But I just want to highlight just a few things. All right, coming back to you. And this is a, I'm just going to use this background. Um, but this is a video that you can watch a little bit later. I did this a couple, couple of years ago. Actually, I think it was during the pandemic. All right, ladies, so we are going to start our discussion on chapter one. We will probably not finish it all tonight, but let's just open up this discussion right here. What is religion? Um, anybody want to answer that? What would you what would you say it is in your own words? I would say um, religion will be uh, what helps a person, how a person views the world based mm -hmm. on what they believe or how they were raised. And um, most likely, most religions have a book in which they have certain things, uh, certain rules and regulations for them to follow and for them. That's to right. And it, it might, um, whatever is sacred to them will be written down in that text. And they pass it down from generation to generation. Wonderful. Thank you, Sade. That's great. Anybody want to add on to that? Good. Well, you can add on. Just open your microphone if you feel free. Um, Sade said that Religion, in her words, is like something to help people get through. It helps us to make sense of the word world. We have uh, the person in this religion, they may have like books or sacred texts. They pass it down or they teach people about it in their religion so that it's just not held to one person. That's how religions are passed down. Somebody got to tell somebody about it, right? So throughout history, people have been religious. And you'll, you'll hear us talk a little bit more when we do that paper, when we talk about what's the difference between religion and spirituality. They are similar, uh, but they can be different. We're not going to get into that tonight. We'll get into that next week. But um, people have been performing actions and holding beliefs about religions since the world be, since the world began okay religion is a part of people's lives and even if um you know some people say well i don't really follow a religion sometimes also religion means um a way of doing something you know like um a pattern okay and so for some people, it can be a influence in their lives. Okay. So whether we follow a particular religion or not, you will be able to see in that particular culture or cultures how that religion works. Okay. So for example, as we're sitting right here on this slide, look at the picture. 
Look at that picture of the pyramids. I've never been there. I would love to be there. But let's look at the picture of the pyramids. Have you ever thought about what the pyramids represent? Somebody can open your mic. What do you think the pyramids represent? <laughs> Not sure. I can't see everybody at this point, but um, the let's see, the pyramids in Egypt do have a, a lot of religious meaning to them, and. In the pyramids are sometimes mummified individuals where the pyramids are going to reflect afterlife. Um, they're going to reflect the significance of, of death um, in their culture. Okay. And remember, y'all can watch this a little bit later. I'm going to, um, there's a, in the video I'm talking, so y'all can, Look at that a little bit later. All right, I want you to look at this beautiful, beautiful mosque. Just gorgeous. Here's another example of religion or religious place. So when we look around our city or our town, wherever we live, there may be places of worship. So a mosque is a place that's going to be dedicated to prayer. Okay. Um, different from, you know, a church, a Christian church, but those, excuse me, y'all, but those who are going to gather in the mosque, they are going to gather and even position themselves in a particular place. Okay. And they're going to face toward, do you know where they're going to face when they pray? Is it the um, east? Toward, toward Mecca. Oh. oh you're, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so here's a question for you as we stay right here. Um, if anyone... And if, any, if anybody wants to share, you can always share about your religion. If anyone uh, uh, practices Islam, you can share with us if you want to uh, just pause right here. Uh, but where is your closest mosque in your neighborhood? Does anybody know? I have one maybe about 15, 20 minutes from me. I think going, going towards Atlanta. It's by the Y, about 15, about 15, 20 minutes from my house. Well, I, I'm not sure where the closest one in my neighborhood is since I <laughs> most recently moved, but I am um, I live in the city of Atlanta. So just yeah. driving around, I see quite a few. And also yeah. when I get certain oils from Five Points, I know it's, it's several little mosques around there. Like yes. if I just walk past like a wall and it has a door on it and above the door it'll say whatever mosque it is. So oh yeah, I got you. So you may not necessarily know. Hmm. And I That's know a good... like the West End too. It's like um a place where they gather in the West End. Um, yeah, right across from the mall. Yes, ma'am. You are right. Right across from the mall. Um. I was down there a couple of months ago. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. And the whole point of this, the question is, is I want us in this particular course, I want us to be more, what's the word, vigilant, to be culturally sensitive of others. We may not do what they do or follow their exact faith, but we're in such a, what do we mean by a melting pot? Think about Atlanta. Just um, a lot of people from different cultures and nations all together living in one space. 
Excellent. Thank you, Sade. Just all, we're just all together. We're all living together. And courses like this help us to understand people's differences. You know, uh, your neighbors may be different from you. That, okay, that's great. We're not going to all be the same. But when we take courses like that, we get to understand, oh, okay, now I understand that this festival or event that happens every year. Okay. And it's always the good, good to be more knowledgeable of our world and the people around us. And, just, and, and I think sometimes when we talk about religion, and, and once again, remember, we're coming from like a scholarly look at it. It's like people get, why do you think people get scared when we bring up politics and religion, right? Why do you think people get scared to talk about that? I feel like when it comes to religion, like a lot of people are really set in what they believe. So mm -hmm. like when other people try to challenge that, um, it kind of like triggers certain people. Um, and some people view like, even if you're just trying to um, expose somebody to another religion and just like educate them, they might take that as you trying to like impose your religion on them. And yeah. like, get them to convert um so yeah i've just noticed even in my experience with like bringing up religion um which is why i don't do it uh people just get really sensitive and it usually just sparks you know heated debates so yeah yeah so yeah so so while you're probably like let me just stay out of it and not say nothing yeah and it shouldn't be like that it's and remember, okay, and I, and I hope we all pull something from this course. We're coming from a scholarly look. So like we're looking at what this group does and we're going to look at what this group does and we're going to look at what, um, let's say, for example, Native American religion. We're going to look at what they do. And it, it's, it's eye-opening. It's eye-opening. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oops. All right. I want you to look right here. Look at the top. Actually, I want you to look at the two pictures that down at the bottom. We're going to talk about these two pictures and then uh, I think we will probably pause for the night. So when we talk about religion and we're going to dig more into this next week as well. Religions all have different cultures attached to them because they grow from different places, right? Um, you know, it may have grown from a Middle Eastern place or um, a Southern place or whatever. So religions are born out of certain cultures. They're born out of geographical locations. And history is always wrapped around religion. So it didn't just like poof, just pop out of nowhere. The religion evolved somehow with a group of people somewhere. They were somewhere on the planet, right? So remember that religions are going to, um, they don't just, just pop, but they're going to come from different historical periods. Okay, so it's important to understand that religious understandings also can change. Do you agree with that? Have you seen that? And when we say religious understandings, like, oh, maybe you, you may see a theology change over time. What do you think about that? Okay. So as as we it's okay as we start to study in religious studies, right? We're going to see 
that the religion that it was, let's say when it was born thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, right? What do we mean like there are different understandings? What do you think that might mean? Are, you mean um, across different religions or in one religion, different understandings? Um, Either one. Either one. That's good. That's a good point. Either one, Sade. It's fine. Well, well, for the first for the first one being in the same religion, different understandings, um, this could be across any religion. If, sure. uh, say if you're if you have a sacred text, which most religions have a sacred text that they follow. Some people may uh, live out what that text says, and then some people might cut off, you know, certain things here and there and live, you know, how, how they just feel like living and follow some things, but don't follow all of it. So maybe they have a different understanding of how they chose to read it, because everything, anything that you read, you might understand it differently than me. So oh, true kind of has their own understanding especially if it's not a direct command like say if it's parables or you know they have african proverbs or everybody has their um little ways that they tell you a story without exactly telling you a story so people understand that different ways and well, then um, uh, and then uh, oh, one second i'm sorry it's your baby <laughs> i understand Watch our days coming back. Yeah, we. Um, yeah, okay, I'm go sorry, ahead. we're in the playroom. But I mean, um, <laughs> a, a, among different religions, like, just say, um, if uh, more than one person is, uh, like, it's hard to explain for me, but if if different religions could believe the same thing to a certain yeah, extent, but they, they do, there are the, different ways that they see it. Like some people want to call God the universe if you want to talk about spirituality, but if you want to talk or say if they have prophets, like I know the Muslim religion has different prophets, but they really esteem prophet Muhammad above any other. And then you have Christians who will esteem Jesus over any other. And then, you know, other religions, uh, uh, maybe the Indian religion has their certain God or prophet they esteem over any other. But everyone has someone that they look to for their answers, pretty much. Got you. Thank you, Sade, for sharing. So in a particular religion or religions, well, for us, right, um, over time, <clears throat> excuse me, that religious movement, I guess you could say, uh, or that religion will evolve because the people are always evolving and coming to greater understanding. For example, let's say Catholicism. Uh, the Catholic Church, for example, has, uh, this has been going through a lot of stuff, but I'm going to just use one example. The issue of, for a long time, like Catholic people couldn't get divorces, but even that now, the religious understanding is um, different. Maybe something not you just want to run out and do, but there may be situations where the person is, the spouse is being harmed or, uh, you know, this is just not a good situation and you want to continue to live your life, you know, with some type of peace. Um, so religious understandings are and can change over time. Uh, religions do evolve. The key thing that I want everyone to understand in this course, we got to have an open mind. We cannot um, have a closed mind when it comes to studying. We're doing just that. This is, and I can't say it enough, this is not a Bible study. We're not forcing people to do any particular thing. So when we come to the book and when we study a particular religion, you can't judge it. Don't, and especially if you follow a particular religion, that's fine. But we always want to look at it as what it is. Oh, wow, this is what this group does. This is interesting. But sometimes, for example, in the last bullet, for, for, for example, it might be frustrating for someone of a Christian background to understand Native American religious beliefs. 
for example, because they are extremely different. And we'll talk more about Native American religion later, but um, I'm just looking out my window and I see a tree. Um, trees are very, very sacred. Nature, water, animals, birds are very sacred, are sacred to Native American religion. And so there is energy in the tree. Um, they're just not going to go and cut down a tree for nothing. Um, a lot of African religion, you're going to see that uh, that whole circle of life, that everything is sacred. The, the animals are sacred. The trees are sacred. The grass is sacred. OK, that we just can't be just doing whatever. So it's going to be real interesting as we come together. I know that we're going to learn a lot. Before we go, ladies, I want you to take a look at the pictures below. Okay, so we are going to put on our study hats and we're going to act like we are sociologists. Let's look at the ladies. Yeah, these are ladies in the black and white picture. What would you come? What would you observe? with your open mind? What would you observe? What do you think's happening in the black and white picture on the left? Um, it just looks like they're all in church, um, either like praying or listening to a sermon of some sort. Yeah. Oh, Riley, why would you say that they're praying? What gave it away to you? Um, because the lady in the front um, has her eyes closed and her hands together. And there's some people in the back that have their hands up. Yeah. That's why I was like, you know, they could be listening to a sermon or even like listening to some type of like worship music. Yeah. OK. Now I'm going to challenge you a little bit, Riley. I think that I, th I would probably think that, too, if I saw this or um, maybe they are at a concert downtown. That too. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks like it, it might be a gospel concert. It's still right. Gospel concert. I know. I was thinking that. I was like, it could be a gospel it, concert. It could. It couldn't be. It couldn't be Taylor Swift. It couldn't be Beyonce. Hey, with this Renaissance, definitely album, could. Maybe. Not the way, and, and then not the way they dress. Like definitely. Right. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, right? <laughs> but right. OK, so I tried this in, in another uh, class that I've had. I said, well, wait a minute. They're looking up. Maybe maybe there's something in the sky. Maybe there's some aliens coming down. But what we did was we observed with our lens like, OK, wait a minute. I've seen that posture before. I've seen the clasped hands before. I've seen the raised hands and this, this, this says they're probably in some type of religious church setting. Okay. Now, if we kept expounding that picture, we could probably be white, right, excuse me, or we might be wrong. They could be at a graduation. Thank God my child went across the stage. You see what I'm saying? So when we when we look from the outside, we think we know what's going on, but are we 100% sure, ladies? Are we 100% sure exactly what's going on in the, in the left-hand side picture? Not 100%. There you go, not 100%. So when we, when we talk about that whole thing of bringing an open mind, we're like, I think they're probably at church. They're probably worshiping. That's what we think, but there could be some other pieces to that puzzle that we don't know. That's what we mean by that open mind. All right, let's look at the right. This is an old picture of President Obama at the time, President Obama. He has no gray at the time. What do you think's going on? Um, it seems like it could be one of his um, rallies. 
um at like uh mm -hmm. can you hear me yo i can hear you i was looking at the pictures oh no you're okay but i was um just thinking that it could possibly be like one of his rallies because i saw the change we can yeah. um posters and i feel like that was like his like one of his slogans or like his main slogan at uh, the time. Um, and then I see like the Native American headdresses on, well, I don't know if that's the right terminology, but um, I don't know, they could possibly be at like a reservation yeah. uh, somewhere. So yeah. Yeah, especially reservation. If you look at the geography of it, it looks, very spacious maybe he's like in new mexico kind of area so when we talk about religion look at my first bullet point religion comes from certain what cultures geographical locations right and then when president obama went to greet them one of the things that he had to do is come with an open mind. I'm not going to come in here judging these people. He wanted to be their president as well. But I'm just imagining as he came to greet them, he had to also think about their culture. He can't go in there and, you know, thinking one way and then this is Native American religion and they're doing something totally different. He had to embrace and, and understand, and I'm sure he had a staff to help him. He had to embrace and understand their culture because he came to their place. All right. It is Shade. All right, everyone. So we're going to pause here. Uh, it is good to see you all this first night, all ladies, and we are going to come back same time, same place. You see me looking at my calendar. What's next Thursday? The 24th. The 24th. Y'all got about four months left to this year. The 24th, we will come back at seven o'clock. So remember everybody, I want you to go to, uh-oh, Riley, make sure you meet yourself. Oh, I want sorry. You to um, go to week one. I want you to do the introductory form if you haven't done that already, okay? I will, I will have your updated syllabus. I apologize for uploading the wrong one. It's going to have your uh, dates in there when things are due. And you can go ahead and read uh, chapter one if you don't have the book. I also scan some of the pages for you and you will be able to find those scan pages in syllabus and resources in the first tab as well as in week one tab. OK. All right. Any questions for me? All right. Um, I, I, would, I had yeah. a quick question. How this class, how long you have you been teaching this class? How long have I been teaching it? This class, yeah. Oh, that's a good question, Shari. I have been teaching, well, really the religious studies courses. You know what, Shari? We started launching this during the pandemic. So about oh, yeah. three years. Yes, it was so crazy. Like, oh, we're going to finally get it done. And that was like, what, January or so, and then the whole world closed down. And that's the, this is another reason why they stayed online. So I'm sorry, but it helps. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then also, since you teach the class, then what religion do you believe in? Or are you just a spirituality type? Oh, that's a good question. Very good, Sade. Well, I am I am Christian. I am a minister. And uh, that's an awesome question. And just like in my disclaimer, like we said in the beginning, even though we may practice a particular religion, so I do, you know, I'm a uh, Christian. But, you know, with this type of course, it's not like we're just studying Christianity. We're, we're studying religion as scholars. 
Mm -hmm. And it's really good because it helps us, you know, no matter what we follow or don't follow, but just living in this pluralistic world that we live in and in Atlanta, we need to understand people and where they're coming from, even if we don't jump into it 100 percent. That's fine. It's just interesting because I saw the course. Well, I like to talk to people in person, so I had to go and talk to my counselor so I could oh. take my um, courses for the, um, you know, upcoming semesters. And I asked her to, because I saw the different religious courses, but I didn't know it wasn't specific as to what they were 